hi guys welcome back to my channel Woo! i'm so happy to be sitting down here and making this video so um if you're new here my name is mayawa that's my way and i'm a new youtuber based in krakow poland <laughs> oh my god why am i singing everything <laughs> anyway guys um welcome back to my channel and on this channel of course it's all about travel food uh, restaurant open i love food and i love taking pictures so yeah, that's what my, my channel is all about. I share about my life, basically, again, because I love to share. So welcome back, sit down, relax, and enjoy this video. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about how I got uh, my the Turkish visa. My last uh, video was about my five days vacation in um, Antalya and Alaya, uh, Turkey. I was there for five days. So I promised in that video that I would tell you how I got my visa. So this is what, uh, this is what I'm filming about today. If I'm looking down, it's because I made some notes uh, on the step-by-step -step process so that I don't miss any invitation for you, my ladies and gentlemen watching. So I made some notes so that I have everything in my head. And today we are gonna be talking about the timeline, the document that you need so that you would get your visa easy, easy. And also I will be giving you some extra tips on how to apply so that you are at least assured that you get the visa. That was what I did. So this is disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I am not a travel agency, okay? I'm just sharing how I got in mind. I am sharing the tea with you. So, uh, anyway, that's it really. That's all I'll be sharing in this video. So, if you've not watched the Turkey vlog, please go back and watch it after this video because you will be so excited to go to Turkey after this. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm still excited because I really enjoyed myself there, guys. Ah, Turkey was so beautiful. So, uh yeah that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video so let's get right into it shall we so guys um i think about a month before i applied for the visa um my country nigeria got banned <laughs> from the e-visa eligibility so anyway uh i was so disappointed because at this point we had already started making plans with the travel agents see and i didn't expect that um we will be banned from the e-visa so i had to take my l and i had to get my ass to warsaw to go and to go and apply for that no, okay i didn't have, i didn't go to warsaw to apply but i had to go to warsaw for the visa process I, don't worry, I'll talk about that uh, in this video, so sit down, relax, and just stay with me, okay, guys? Stay with me, but that was quite sad. So, anyway, if you're trying to, when you uh, get on the website and you're trying to apply for the visa, once you put your nationality, it will tell you, are you eligible or are you not eligible? You are going to know, so you don't worry, my dear sister. You will not be wasting your time, or my dear brother that is applying. The moment you put your nationality, well, you will see if they will give it to you. So uh, that's that's that about that. So if you can't get uh, the e-visa, does that mean that you cannot get a visa? Clearly not. You can still get the visa. It's just that you just have to still go through the you know rigorous process of applying for the visa. But definitely you can still get the visa. So that's why I'm here to plug you in. If you stay with me, you will get the visa, baby. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now to the documents that you need, which is why you're here. So I'm going to be looking down in this session a lot because I will be reading from my notes here uh, so that I don't miss any step. That's why I'm reading like out from my notes. So the first uh, thing that you need is a biometric photo, aka a passport photo. If you've made any application before, you knew that you need to take a passport photograph. So take a passport photograph. Uh, I think you need just one. Oh, why is my hair not seen? Okay. <laughs> And uh, the next thing you need is a document attesting to your income status. 
or income status as an applicant pretty much and in this case if you're working you can use your work certificate uh, in Poland uh, our work certificate usually includes uh, the job type to increase our salary and it also states that you are currently employed by this company so uh, that would attest to your income status if you're in Poland but if you're in another country and you want to apply just uh, ask your employer for the certificate of employment or work um, certificate I think most employers are already used to that for when the their employees ask for that so ask for your HR ask your manager how to do that and they will give it to you if you're not working not sure what document you will use to attest your income status maybe your if you're a business owner I would, I would say like proof of that and if you are a, if you are a student so maybe you put there like um, your bank statement what is in your bank account to show that you can afford the travel that's what it means so maybe put something in your bank account and attach it but if you're working you just need your, your work certificate and the next thing is if somebody is inviting you to Turkey then you need to attach the um, inviting person's document kind of invitation letter kind of situation this is not what i did because nobody invited me i invited myself to turkey <laughs> so i didn't need to use that i just used my work um, certificate and that was fine the next thing you will need is your flight reservation and hotel booking they go hand in hand very very important uh, I used a travel uh, agency because it was a group travel so because of the uh, logistics involved for like the group I just had to or we decided as a group to use a travel uh, agency for them to book it for us at once but you can do it yourself really I've tr I travel a lot so I don't just I just go online go to booking.com so you don't even have to pay just to reserve an hotel some people uh, ask you to make a pass payment some hotels are required to do that and uh, flight reservation as well you can also pay for that and you have to attach it to your visa application if you don't have it they will not give you visa so okay add it in my case uh because i said i use a travel agency i pay the deposit uh to get this uh reservation and the the flash reservation and the hotel booking reservation we just paid a fraction of we paid a fraction and we we're able to get this information from the company and afterwards we pay uh, balance so if you are using a travel agency you have that choice if not just get it online by yourself and it still works another thing is supporting documents for the applicant's commitment to return so they need to know that once you go to turkey you will not enjoy it so much that you don't have to go back home so you need some form of document to show that you're gonna uh, come back home in this case your pay slip or your bank, ac uh, bank account statement uh, three months bank account statement or three months pay slip to i think your pay slip shows that you are collecting salary right regularly from your employer which means that you will not just leave your work <laughs> and stay in Turkey and not come back do you know what i mean so you can use that uh, you can attach that this is an advice of course the next point is the medical insurance you are traveling abroad your insurance probably doesn't cover travel the insurance that you have in your residing country i reside in krakow so highly recommend that when you're traveling have a travel insurance um the one i paid for was less than 50 zloty what the conversion is but it's really 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 low so i highly advise that to add it let it not be the reason that they would deny your visa or you know so i advise that you had your travel uh insurance you pay for your travel insurance and uh, yeah, that's it. Just run through the game, a passport photograph, document assessing, attesting the income status. You can get a work certificate, your hotel and um, flight reservation, your document to supply to, for applicants to show the commitment to return to the home country and your medical insurance. So in total, there are six documents that you need to have before you even think of applying, before you open the website make sure that all these documents are ready 
So, how can you apply? You have to go to the Turkish Embassy's website. So, just put it on Google, Turkish Embassy website. I will also put the link in the description below for you. You can just click it and take it straight to the website. And once you get to this website, you already have your document ready because you have to upload it once you fill in. So, the next thing is to fill in your personal data. You know what your personal data is. So, you should fill it in. You have to upload your passport page as well, I believe. You have to put your contact information. So, when it comes to contact information, you have to put your uh, personal contact information. You have to put your professional contact information. If you are a business owner, you have a company, then you can put your company email address. So, you have to fill this in. I'm not able to attach screenshots because I don't know if I'm eligible to put it in this video. So, but trust me, it's very easy. Once you click it, it's quite intuitive. If you have any questions, you can come back to this video, leave me a comment, and I will try my best to reply you. Once you fill in your information <clears throat> about the travel visa, so here are some extra things that you might need to know once you are filling this. Uh, application on the Turkish website. So the type of visa is tourist or business person. This is the type of visa that you should choose. The purpose of travel you should choose is touristic visit because you are just going as a tourist to the country. Date of entry and date of departure. So this date is very important. The date must match your uh, the date that you, you put on your hotel and your flight um, reservation. The, the start date and the end date so if it's 15th of october to to i don't know 20th of october you have to put that exact date it has to match what is in your reservation your booking reservation and your flight reservation for your entry date and your departure date who is covering your uh, travel cost well i have self-sponsored if you have a sponsor <laughs> good for you my brother and sister so me, I'm uh, of course uh, sponsoring myself. So you have to put it there that you are tra you are sponsoring this uh, travel by yourself. And of course, they are going to ask you the means of transportation. Is by here, oh my dear, is by here. Don't swim to enter Turkey. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Of course, you fly to enter Turkey, so it's by here. And they are going to ask you. If you have a host person or company that is hosting you, you can also add it. If maybe your friend invited you or your company invited you, you can also uh, add it there. And uh, if not, you just put the hotel. The hotel that you are going to be staying is the person, the person hosting you. <laughs> so for lack of better uh, words, so just put your hotel information there. And because you have a reservation with them, they have to contact them for anything. Of course, they're going to stay there hosting you because already pay for their reservation so you cannot you cannot deny it anyway um that's the next thing and then they will ask also do you have a travel insurance and the validity please of course i have already emphasized in the beginning of this video get your travel insurance it's not expensive my brothers and sisters just get it pay for it eh? and then uh you of course you put it there that yes you do have the travel insurance i don't know what will happen if you say you don't have it because me i said i had it so i guess we'll never know so <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the uh, thing to do is after you fill in all this information, there are two important next steps. First thing is to download your application form. So the visa application form that you've already filled, it will give you the option to download it from the website. So download it from the website and print it out to take with you on uh, your visa appointment date. And then the second thing is to download the undertaking and information form for entry into Turkey. I repeat, undertaking and intro form for entry into Turkey. You have to download this document as well. And with these two documents, you have to print it out, of course, and take it along with you to the Turkey embassy and downloaded this uh, document you can then go ahead to book a date for your visa appointment because you have to go there like i said physically to the turkish embassy for the visa day. so another good thing about this visa is that you don't have to go twice so like i said it was a group travel uh, me and my friends that went together 
we all had different dates so we didn't book our appointments for the same date and we all got the visa uh, on the spot so visa approval on the spot well i guess if you're rejected you probably uh, get but i want to believe that they will not reject you maybe if they have a question they'll ask you since you're already there but the visa is on the spot so that's a good thing about it you don't have to go there twice if you have all your documents properly arranged so that's the process okay so now for the concluding part of this um video i'm going to give you some extra information or extra tips or tricks that you need to know that is not necessarily on the website so the first thing is to make sure that you put single entry visa there because if you don't also on that day if you put the wrong thing they will ask you to cross it out and um, change it but since you've already watched my video now you know what to put so you don't have to cross anything out of the application put single entry in the, in the application and when you are going physically to the Turkish embassy I live in Krakow and the Turkish embassy in Poland is in Warsaw so I had to travel from from Krakow to Warsaw by train you can go by flight by train by bus to uh, apply for this visa to get this visa so um, I had to take 60 euro cash I don't I didn't I didn't see this thing on your website though before I went there so now that you watch my video I've plugged it in when you are going carry your 60, ca 60 uh, euro cash to the embassy so this is about 285 pnn but you know that it depends on the uh, exchange rate so whatever country you are in go to the foreign exchange exchange 60 euros cash they will not collect card payments carry the cash i've told you open your ears carry cash and they will you pay for it i think that's the visa application form because you don't pay for anything on the website so you carry it there and you make sure you pay ensure that you go you get your medical insurance i'm emphasizing it once again please i mean you know get your medical insurance um of course when you're going to for your appointment after you've chosen your appointment date you have to go with a valid passport and a valid residence permit of whatever country you are applying from i'm in poland my carta property was valid my passport was also valid or if you are uh, conversant to traveling you know most countries will say you need at least three to six months passports validity or at least i try to make it like that if i'm going to need to get a visa so make sure it's between three to six months passport validity shakari valid passport okay okay um what's next also make sure you go with the originals of the payslip that you've already uploaded on the website uh the work certificate the hotel reservation and bank statements so if they need it they would uh, ask for it just give all the documents to them they'll pick whichever one they want and return the other ones that they don't want i think for me they took my original paste with them and they returned the rest to me so i don't know what they'll need from you just carry everything along know that you're wondering like how much did my travel cost so uh like i said i use a travel uh, agency and i would not put like i would not add food or shopping into it because this is highly dependent on you our accommodation was a all inclusive so it was all inclusive so if i didn't want to like buy food i could just literally eat breakfast and dinner in my hotel and i wouldn't spend a dime on food i have uh, i have the beach free and everything so uh here the main cost of this travel is going to be your accommodation and your flight and in this case it was about 2100 to 2100 to 2300 zloty per person so this is about my five day stay in uh, and this included airport transfer and uh, that's about 490 euros so 2100 to 300 per person that's about 450 490 euros per person which i think is a decent amount to pay if you're going to spend five days in a beautiful place like Turkey and uh, you also have to put in mind if you if the airport you are flying from is not from your city then you have to add that travel cost and you have to fly from Poznan I live in Krakow Poznan was about five is about approximately five hours away from Krakow so I have to also pay for the train ticket the train ticket depends 
on the time depends on the class if it's a first class ticket if it's a second class ticket so if you check on the website you will see, you will see how much like that costs and for my shopping this was my own part like i had my own personal budget uh, for shopping so you can also you know have your own personal budget for shopping it could be 200 euros it could be 500 euros it could be a thousand euros it could be five thousand euros it could be ten thousand euros <laughs> so i i shopped in turkey like i shopped a lot i knew that i've already had it at the back of my mind that whenever i i was gonna visit turkey i was gonna shop till i drop and i shopped till I I, let me know maybe you want some clothing haul for something the things that i shopped from turkey mm, content idea so if you want to see the haul let me know I, i'm happy to film the haul for you the things that i got from uh turkey just to end this video remember that turkey is a very beautiful country so just prepare your mind to enjoy you're gonna enjoy princess treatment trust me those people they are very nice they are very polite and they just the way they've arranged the country it's like you are just at ease like whatever you need you will get it I don't even know how to explain it. When you go to you experience it yourself. Let it not be like, oh, my wife, you know, because everybody's experience is different. I know some people's experience, and maybe they probably had a bad experience, but me and my friends, we had a great time. Go and watch the last vlog. That is going to tell you how much fun we had. If you enjoyed this video to this point, please don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. After all these gems that I've given you, you will not now subscribe, you will not now like, you will not now share. Oh yeah, please now. Oh yeah, I'm begging you, please, 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 please. Help me to subscribe, eh? So, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you. You are seeing my beautiful face beat, right? Eh? You see it, you love it? I filmed it. Well, I didn't film everything, but I filmed the Get Ready With Me. And that's probably what is... Uh, my next video is going to be about so watch out for this space and let me know guys your comments let me know what videos you like to see from me we wrote to 100 subscribers please guys share this video let's get to 100 subscribers i love you so much have a beautiful rest of the day wherever you're watching for and it's your girl that's my hour bye